Hello everyone, welcome. This is a talk called What Does It Take for a Black Woman to Be on Portuguese Wikipedia? It is part of the Flash for event organized by the Shirtower Foundation. Super interesting format of event, uh, very experimental and open. And I thought this subject would be interesting to more people. So I'm recording my talk and hopefully we can have a further discussion on it later. Um, this is a talk about notability criteria on Wikipedia, community relations, knowledge equity, and the lack of reliable sources covering the lives of black women. It is also a talk about how women in Brazil and Portugal are setting different projects to discuss those issues and tackle the gap in other women's biographies on the news of on Wikipedia. And being completely blunt here, I have more questions than answers, so feel free to dive into it with even more questions and hopefully we can bring this conversation to more spaces. Uh, but just before I start, I want to briefly introduce myself. I'm Erika Cellini, I'm 25 years old, based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I was nominated for a flash grant last year by a former fellow, Anasuya Gupta. She is responsible for Whose Knowledge Initiative, which aims to center the knowledge of marginalized communities on the internet. So cheers to that. And this grant allowed me to dedicate myself full time to my activities on Wikimovimento Brasil, which is until now the only affiliate in Brazil officially recognized by the Wikimedia Foundation. And although I'm involved with Wikimovimento Brasil professionally, this talk represents my personal perspective on Wikimedia projects. So I'm wearing my volunteer hat here today. And as for my academic background, I was a scientific journalism fellow at the Research, Innovation and Dissemination Center for the Neuromathematics at the University of Sao Paulo. I researched computational journalism and structural narratives based on Wikidata, digital humanities and gender and technology. Um, earlier, I developed a research on cyber feminism and the agency of collectives led by women in Brazil to fight gender gaps in technology. And I also have a background in communications for human rights, especially in the migration issue in Brazil. Uh, I think it's nice to mention that Shuttleworth believes that in order to do social change, people need to have time for it, so they provide grants in a trust-based system that is amazing. Um, if you don't know their work and their fellow projects, please check it out. And without further ado, let's dive into what it takes to be a black woman on Portuguese Wikipedia. Uh, Portuguese Wikipedia is mainly edited by, in the Lusophone world, countries in which Portuguese is the official language. Uh, the large majority of contributors come from Brazil, Portugal, but we could include here on the list people from Angola, Cape Verde, Goa, Guinea-Bissau, Macau, Mozambique, São Tomé, Príncipe, and East Timor. We are spread out between America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania, which means that most potential readers of Portuguese Wikipedia comes from the global south. And although Wikipedia is an open and collaborative space, the average editor profile doesn't really correspond to the general demographics of the Lusophone world for many reasons, such as lack of internet access and infrastructure, for example. And of course, people in different positions of privilege are responsible for building the content available in Portuguese. Uh, using Brazil, for example, we are a continental country, international, known for its diversity. We are among the largest economies in the world, although we've been going down over the last few years. Uh, more than 50% of our population is self-declared black or multiracial, but our user group, which I understand is a sample of the broad community of editors in Brazil, is formed largely by white men with access to university education. Uh, talking about gender, we don't have the data for the Portuguese Wikipedia, but I find very interesting that apparently women are only 20 to 30 percent of the editors on Wikipedia in general. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it was even less than 20 percent in our case. Um, another thing is that from all biographies on Wikipedia, only 25 percent are covering women's lives. I don't even have the data on the percentage of them that are of black and indigenous women or how many of them in the Portuguese Wikipedia are actually women from the Lusophone world. And of course, it's a sum of facts. Uh, Wikipedia is amazing, really. 
um, how come a nonprofit project in the internet based on volunteer collaboration has been successful for 20 years now? Uh, what makes it work are basic rules and agreements for the community, a high level of staff organization, mostly horizontal with a few distributed powers for managing it, on content, the necessity of reliable and verifiable sources, uh, the establishment of notability criteria, encyclopedic language, no personal views on the content, etc. And in theory, anyone with internet access can not only read Wikipedia, but become an editor. And considering the average editor profile on Wikipedia, and even the unconscious bias that comes with that, uh, it is not a very inviting environment for women. So besides having much less free time than men to get involved with the project, female users have been reportedly harassed by other users too. And although Wikipedia is horizontal, we still see very competitive behaviors on that. And to be honest, it can be very exhausting to try to get into this boys club. And if we go down the rabbit hole, of course, Wikipedia still reflects the general structure of knowledge available in society since it needs reliable sources to properly function and deliver the most accurate encyclopedic content for the reader. Uh, Wikipedia isn't responsible for how sources are elaborated, but it is a direct reflection of that, meaning that Wikipedia is as good as its sources, or Wikipedia considers to be a good source at least. Uh, but until which extent should this amazing project be just that? Can't we think uh, hack and grow this collaborative space so that it truly encompasses knowledge equity? And thinking about women's biographies, it's challenging because our narratives have been marginalized. Um, I really like a quote from Virginia Woolf that says something like, for most history, Anonymous was a woman. And talking about the privilege scale, Black and Indigenous women still have their narratives and accomplishments being erased by the eyes of society. And to illustrate some of that, I would like to bring Marielle Franco's case on Portuguese Wikipedia. Uh, this has been explored in detail by Adele Branda from whose knowledge in 2018. I really recommend the reading of her piece called The Life and Death of Marielle Franco on Wikipedia. Uh, to briefly resume what happened, Marielle was a black bisexual woman, a city councillor in Brazil known as community leader and for being a strong opposition voice in a male-dominated politics. She was a defender of poor black women and people from the favelas. She fought police brutality besides advocating for uh, gender equality and reproductive rights. Uh, someone created her entry on Wikipedia, but it was deleted due a notability criteria that says that city councillors will only be relevant if they have made prominences in the local political scene or involved in some event that resulted in great commotion and or repercussion. Uh, there was some debate on this del deletion because even though she was just a city councillor, she was really important for that community. But it was deleted anyway. And her entry was, was brought back to Wikipedia once she was murdered a few times later. It is sad, right? So. Marielle's life and accomplishments weren't considered prominence, but her death, being brutally murdered, and thus having a major media coverage on that, was the great repercussion needed for her article to return to Wikipedia. A message we can frame here is that a black woman is only left relevant in violent scenarios like that, or that her achievements in a society that is also sexist and racist aren't strong enough to be the notoriety that a brutal death has. In other words, she had to get brutally killed to be relevant enough to her Wikipedia. Wasn't her life relevant by itself? And Thais Ferreira is another case, this one very recent, of a similar situation. So Thais Ferreira is also a prominent city councillor. She's a black woman, a community leader in a marginalized part of Rio de Janeiro and she was the first alternate to Marielle Franco in 2018. She's also a social entrepreneur responsible for creating a popular clinic model with obstetric health care service for mothers between 15 and 35 years old. Um, again, she's not just a city councillor. She, she has received media attention for her social entrepreneurship that already has impacted more than a thousand people. 
the, the community was debating if she was notable enough to be on Wikipedia. And a group of female editors had to sort of intervene to vote on this article, so it stayed on Portuguese Wikipedia. Um, and should we just stop there? Or to put in other words, why do we have a better tolerance for entries on weapons, for example, than on black women in politics? From my understanding, notability criteria should be a base to establish parameters. They are obviously important, but in some cases, they shouldn't be carved in stone. If we truly advocate for a Wikipedia that provides the sum of all human knowledge, we, as a community, should start taking more action to make sure that our platform and its rules aren't just replicating a knowledge structure responsible for making invisible people that are actually important, notable, inspiring, even in their local communities, right? And here we can include tons of hard questions. Uh, it's not easy to solve this, but how do we include oral history as a source on Wikipedia, for example? How can we connect with scholars, researchers, databases, media outlets, uh, publishers uh, to encourage the creation of marginalized communities? How can we bring and keep female editors on Wikipedia and truly make it a safe space for contribution? Um, Wikipedia, Wikimedia Foundation is leading discussions around diversity and knowledge equity for some time now. Even my user group has developed a diversity plan to keep track of our actions and our own demography, but we're still just scratching the surface of the issue. Um, but what are we doing? So Wikimovimento Brasil is a user group very sensitive to diversity within the community and in our projects and activities. Uh, last year alone, during the pandemics and all the hurdles of moving to an online event format, we organized almost 10 editathons on diversity issues. And those are community-led events, but sometimes we get to partner up with co-institutions for this kind of activity. Um, a not so fun fact here, did you know that women were prohibited to play football or even play, practice sports in general in Brazil for more than 20 for more than 40 years last century. This is insane. And we organized a series of vegetatons with the football museum here in Sao Paulo in each. We wrote entries on female football players. Uh, many of them are black women. And the support of the museum was key for the success of the event. We gathered at least 45 people in total for the activity, including museum staff and sports journalists that cover female categories. We were confronted by the lack of good sources for it, of course. And I thought it was very interesting how those activities re resonate within the community without even us realizing. Because many months later, an editor from Portuguese Wikipedia sent me a message on Telegram. I mentioned that activity with the Football Museum. And not by the time it was an in-person event, and he was just sending me a message many months later. And he said it was a very cool initiative, that he really likes this team. And but we, we used not so reliable sources for the activities. And he was criticizing that. And many months later, he was there still digging our work. And this is a discussion we actually had at the event and how hard it is to have large media outlets covering female sports as good as they do with male categories, for example. And that even specialized websites that are actually sort of independent blogs aren't considered very relevant sources. Uh, the museum was working on an exhibition on women's football and they were facing a lot of difficulties on the creation process and image assignment due to the lack of documentation on women's practices. And most of their collection was donated by the football players themselves, I believe. So if the museum faces this kind of issue, it is not a surprise that it was difficult to find enough materials to support that Wikipedia activity. And I'm talking about contemporary players. Can you imagine how difficult it is to get access to materials that accurately portray women's football in the 20th century? Uh, another super cool initiative we had last year was to partner up with a super interesting project uh, led by a woman called Napupila, which is a curatorial collective 
um, they have an event proposal that seems like a study group. It's amazing. So they get their reliable sources in advance on women and the arts, put it on a table and then promote a full day of thematic discussions with speakers. Uh, on the next day, we gather for a Wikipedia tutorial and edit together via Zoom um, an entire afternoon on the, on the discussed subject. Uh, we did events on art and labor, archives, international practice, transsexual art and more. And more. They're caring and inviting not only scholars but artists and people with lived experience and this was the core of the agitator for example for the art and archive event they invited a professional from Moreira Salles Institute that holds a collection of former slaves photographers to talk about the curation process and the opening of their archive and also invited a black artist called Silvana Mendes that uses those photos of former slaves to actually deconstruct negative visualities of black bodies through collage. It was amazing, very inspiring event. And finally, I want to wrap it presenting the collaboration we are building with Equeditoras LX from Portugal. They started together for Editatons right before the pandemic strike and have been gathering every two weeks to edit Wikipedia together. They are super interested in joining the large community and in learning the hacks of Wikipedia. And beyond organizing editatons, we are working together on strategies to find other women editing Portuguese Wikipedia, especially those that aren't from Brazil and Portugal, uh, for building and growing together more impactful actions on Wiki. And as I said in the beginning, we are just scratching the surface. We are doing a lot of questions that surpass Wikipedia itself, but we have to start somewhere, right? And I would love to hear your thoughts on how to make Wikipedia a place of more knowledge equity and how to address the gender gap on Portuguese. And you can find me at the email address on the screen. And thanks for watching.